Hey guys, Middle Jesus here, and I am with Riff from Pixel Game Squad. How's it going, dude? It's going great. I am very, very, very happy to finally be in here with you. Yes, yes. And tell people why you're here today. We are going to be taking a look at the top five best controllers, not just the retro world, but of all time. Wow, this is going to be epic. Let's take a look. Number five. All right, at number five is a bit of a controversial pick, but Definitely. I'm going with it. You have to go with it. I'm having to go, okay, so it is the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. A powerful combo together. It is, and I think that's the thing, is that Nintendo, you know, they think outside the box. They this they released this at a time when I think that controllers were getting a little bit out of control. There were a lot of buttons and people were starting to go, I don't know what to do with this, right? This was like the controller that had gamers, hardcore gamers, like a little concerned. Yeah, and little. I myself was one of them. But once you got your hands on and played some games and you get past some of the silly games, yes. there's a lot of great games that really utilize this controller setup perfectly. Yeah, and also too, I mean, it's smartly designed because you can tilt it sideways totally and play a lot of retro style games now it's not the most comfortable but you know it is a i mean it's when you put this in somebody's hand they know what to do with it they can play golf they can play tennis it works really well and it's a fun i think the key word with this is literally the three letter easy word it's a fun controller it is fun setup. i also want to mention though that they did improve on it with the wii motion plus yep so they basically added more gyroscopes and yep. stuff like that and this improves it even better it does so. make a difference i was a little hesitant at first like is it really going to make right. a difference it made a difference yeah, the games that support it, you can definitely tell. Yeah, so good job. Number four. This one had me thinking, it had us both thinking, do we go with the yeah. Wii U Pro, Pro Controller or do we go with the Switch Pro? But I think we're locking it in with the Switch. It took yeah. everything the Wii U Pro Controller did yes. and just smoothed out the edges a little bit, gave us the off-center analog sticks and even gave us a screenshot button, which I personally utilize a lot. Yeah, it's true. This is definitely a little bit more more comfortable on the, the handle grips. Yeah. Uh, this one's surprisingly shiny. Like, you don't realize it until you go back to it and you're just like, it's fingerprints everywhere. We actually <laughs> took a picture of it yesterday yeah. and you could see everything in the room around yeah, it. Yeah, it was so funny. And again, this is the Wii U one is great. But, it is. But Nintendo just took it even a step further. I think this one is amazing. The other thing I really like about it, though, is that the battery life seems to last forever. It is one of those things where you can take it out and like know well enough like you know what I feel good leaving the house yes. knowing I didn't give it yeah. that full charge it so much time goes by that I actually forget the last time I charged it that's how that's how long it that's lasts that's when so. you know you're doing it right it is and also to the uh the, the HD rumble that they in, in, included in here is fantastic it's good and I always was hesitant when I first heard about it. like is it really gonna right. feel different I mean we have rumble pack all the way right. back down from the 64 days this feels good it's right you actually feel intensity at the spots where you feel like you're supposed to feel it yeah when I'm playing my switch in dock mode, I always use this controller. I, I really like it. All right. Number three. All right, this next one I am so happy to talk about. That is the Nintendo GameCube controller. This is like an old friend. It just fits in your hands so well. Yeah. That kind of sounds sexual. I That's apologize okay. for that. That's but okay. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> but yeah, really. But the, I do think this is a fantastically designed controller. It's so comfortable. Again, when I put it in my hand, I, I love how the grips fit in there. Yeah, it's so interesting that the grips and the L and R button actually have like these bevels that go yes. in the concave where your fingers sink in. I, I'm surprised that more new controllers don't do this Didn't because you're that. absolutely right. It feels so natural there. And you know, it has a couple other nice features about it is that it has the C stick, it has the thumb stick. Now, yeah. not everyone is gr crazy about the C stick. I love it. I do too because okay. it, it, again, the way it clicks. So in there, clicky. So yes. clicky. Also, I really like the larger A button. Yeah. You know, it just feels, it's it's easy to find it, you know? And something big to point out too, if you're a fan of games like Smash Brothers, this is not only like the preferred controller of old. I mean, the Switch, the new Smash Bros Ultimate, they are, keep releasing, they're gonna do a re-release of the GameCube style Isn't controller. Isn't that crazy? It just shows that it's, not only stood the test of yeah. time, but it's like new people are like, hey, let's keep this going. We need this controller back in new, fresh ways. Yeah, and I want to mention too that it, it, as a fan of that, yeah. obviously Nintendo made the Wave Bird. The Big Daddy. Yeah, which is even better. I mean, it basically just takes the only real complaint of it, which is the wired yeah. and makes it wireless. Yeah. And uh, at the time, you know, the lag was almost non existent. Yep. And this is a fantastic It controller. handles well. It handles perfectly well. Perfectly. It does. Good job. Number two. 
So we had the PlayStation 1 controller. Right. Then we had the PlayStation 2. Then the PlayStation 3. Right. And I personally believe when you take all the best elements of all of those and put them into one, you get the PlayStation 4 controller. A fantastic controller. So comfortable. So as you mentioned, you know, yeah. it... I was tempted to pick the PlayStation 2 because I do feel like that is a really well-designed controller. However, Nintendo did, uh, Nintendo, Sony did the impossible <laughs> <laughs> where they basically took that original and made this thing a little bit more sculpted, a little yeah. bit more bulbous. It, feel, it feels a little bit better in the hands of it my does. personal opinion. It does. And they added some really interesting features here. The, the share button. That's actually like a fantastic feature it is. to have in a controller. It is, really. And then also this touch button here now, it's not utilized in a lot of games. So it's, it, it's not a great part of the controller, but it is useful and some games do use that so you, you, it can be like its own button you can click the corners stuff like that something I really like is the L2 and the R2 buttons how they have yes. that out curve yes. under it I feel like it locks your fingers in it's not like the GameCube where it's per all sunk all the way but I feel like it does a better job of keeping your fingers from slipping out if you're doing games where you have to repeatedly push the button yeah that's a good point because uh, that's the thing I didn't like about the PlayStation 3 controller yeah. is that those triggers were mushy and just not great they vastly improved them with this and for an FPS person like myself who loves FPS games, I felt like that really served its purpose really well and did a good job. Yeah, and it's interesting too because it also has little parts of the motion controllers in here with this this little uh, yeah, light LED light here. So LED. if you do uh, play the PlayStation VR games, well, this will work. Yeah. So it's very versatile. It's the winner, in my opinion, of the Sony world. Right? Yes, it is. Number one. All right, we're going to cheat a little bit here because we could not agree on number one. We tried, though. We did. We at least tried. We, we promised. We did. We put some thought into this. So. Asking, like, avid gamers to pick, like, a number one spot for anything is always impossible. Well, and, and to be fair, I mean, we're talking 40 years of gaming and a yeah. lot of different controllers. Yep. And so our, our picks are vastly different. So I'm going to go are. first. So my number one pick of all time has to be the Xbox 360 controller. Microsoft took what was great about the S controller on the original Xbox and made it even better. It's very natural in your hands, yep. plus the off-center asymmetrical thumbsticks. Yep, however you want to call it. I know. And you know, these are kind of controversial because some people like them, some people don't. I personally actually do find them very useful because if you're playing 3D games or first-person shooters, your thumb is resting on that thumbstick a lot. And, and I think something you said that really sticks into it for me is definitely the comfort level because yes. I think that's the controller actually sunk probably the most hours in my life playing video games yes. on would be on that controller and I never felt like walking away like oh my fingers are off I felt like this was like okay I always felt at home and safe with that so yeah it's a fantastic controller and then also too I want to mention that the the triggers are some of the best that has ever been made yep. I love racing games and so often you have like a throttle yep and these are perfect for that they're just it's hard to beat and also too I want to mention that they even improved on it a little bit with this one because it has the adjustable d-pad yep. so if you're in a fight games or you know a platforming games you can really tailor it to make it your own yeah listen now i know you said it's hard to beat but <laughs> for myself yes i have one that i i i believe is the best controller of all time and that is a super nintendo yeah. controller yeah. this is kind of like the first iteration of you want to call it an early pro controller go ahead shoulder buttons extra buttons a start button a select button we kind of got the whole layout here now i don't know if it's part nostalgia but i grew up playing this thing every day of my life even modern games when i go yeah. to set up my controller scheme for fighting games yeah. i stick with the layouts that i had for this rxy lba i mean to me this is where i feel comfortable and i know what i'm doing and i feel precise yeah. in the way i'm playing i i feel like from a design standpoint this is the perfect amount of buttons it for is. anyone to play because it only has two shoulder buttons not yeah. three it's you know, not very good you know it has the right number of buttons on the the, the right and the left side the d-pad is fantastic and also too they took the lesson of what I don't like about the original NES, which is this square, and they just simply rounded it. It sounds simple, but it's it's perfection. It it's, really is a, is a perfect controller, in my opinion. It, it really is. Yeah. Now, I do have to say, I want to give a special shout out. Oh here, yeah, here it comes. Because I'm a retro gamer, and I, I feel as though, as an honorable mention, we have to mention the classic Atari 2600 joystick. It is honorable. It is. And so, for many of us, this was our first taste at a mm -hmm. home controller yep. and I spent many many years playing this thing now I would say it's an honorable mention because I don't think ergonomically it's a very good controller yeah. it definitely digs into your palms but what can you say about a, a, a controller that has directions and one button I it mean, does what it needs to do and it does yes. it right it feels good when you play I feel like for me it's like mental comfort too I hold it 
and I feel like whatever I'm yeah. doing with it, I feel like this is this is comfort mentally. Like it's putting me at ease at a good place holding this controller. I know, I know. And so it's it's definitely a classic for a reason and yeah. we wanted to do an honorable mention. Yep. But there are so many other controllers that we didn't touch on. I know this video is gonna cause some uh, chaos down with, in the- With the Wii, with the Wii controller, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, that was my pick. So yeah, people no, can blame okay. me. <laughs> what do you think that gonna be the number one missed controller we hear down there? People are gonna be like, how could you not say the uh, well, I, gosh, there's so many. I mean, honestly, the Xbox One controller, I think, is a we all well, that was that. we were up there literally like I don't know. Yeah, I know that was. I, don't I mean, know. that is a and, and actually, there's that Pro version of the Xbox One controller, which has the little paddles on the bottom, which people swear by. I right, never mind. It's number one. Take away everything. <laughs> we do. I'm just kidding. But we'd love to know down in the comments yeah. what you think. Uh, you know, what your top five controllers of all time would be. Absolutely. Uh, everyone's gonna have their own list. Uh, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, find me at Pixel Game Squad. We do game hunting videos. We have so much fun doing them. High production, good fun with everybody. So Pixel Game Squad on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. So, awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care. See you guys. At the end here, I want to do a huge shout out to Riff. Many of you know him as Aaron from Retro Liberty, a very popular YouTube channel back in the day, but he decided to relaunch it with his new channel using his nickname. And so Thank you very much for coming up to Seattle and hanging out with me and doing a bunch of videos, including this one. We have many more coming to my channel as well. So super cool dude. Thanks so much for helping me.